Hey, it's Paul with Rack Attack, and this is the Rocky Mounts Monorail Platform Hitch Mounted Bicycle Carrier. Here we have it installed onto this vehicle that's equipped with a two inch receiver hitch. We'll go ahead and take off these bikes and then take off the rack, show you how the rack installs onto the vehicle, and then as we do that, go over all the key features that make this rack unique. So for starters, taking off the bike, you want to release the rear wheel ratcheting strap by pressing in on the blue tab and doing that you just press and release and then at this point get a hold of the bike and then press on this blue button that is holding the front wheel and extend that arm down and away now I can go ahead and lift this bike out of the way so that was a road bike and here we have a mountain bike and same thing in this order you want to release this rear ratcheting strap the by pressing on the blue tab and then gain control of the bike and press on the blue tab again to release the hook and now we can go ahead and lift off the mountain bike okay so now to put it in the stowed position this rack has a unique two-piece front wheel cradle that gives a lot of support vertically to the wheel but that hinges down and snaps into place when it's stowed so it's very low profile and will help to give you better clearance when the rack is folded up against the back of the vehicle. Now I'll go ahead and rotate this arm up and over and same thing on the inner cradle, same thing, just put everything tucked away. And now a nice feature on this particular rack is you have this blue handle that makes raising and lowering the platform very convenient in its position there and it'll snap into that vertical position that's stowed. Now let's go ahead and take it off of the the hitch. I have this just loosely connected temporarily and I'm going to show how this will attach to the receiver hitch giving it a very rigid connection. So to do that within the stinger there's a threaded insert and that is what the threaded bolt connects into and when that's fully tightened it'll remove all of the side-to-side -side play between your stinger and your receiver hitch. Now when we're here I can discuss the construction. This is a combination of steel and aluminum, primarily steel construction with a very durable powder coat finish. Overall weight is 44 pounds. On this two inch version here you do have the capability of adding an additional carrier, making this into a three bike rack. So let's go ahead and install it onto the receiver hitch. So to do so, we wanna keep it in this right angle position. That way we can just stand up comfortably and then guide the stinger into the receiver, bring that stinger to a horizontal position and begin sliding inward. And at this point, you want to take this hitch bolt and insert it through your hitch pin and it'll be tapping against the side of the stinger and then continue to push inward until that hitch bolt finds the hole and begins and you can begin to thread without any resistance. If you find that there's resistance, just move that stinger in and out just slightly to where it threads on all by hand. And that'll ensure that you're not accidentally cross threading and it allows you to thread it on quickly by hand. And once you're at this point, then you can use the tool that's provided with the, the rack in order to tighten it up. And it'll only take just a, a few turns to get that done. Before I tighten it up all the way, let me go ahead and show how there is a quite a bit of play here and how effective this anti-wobble bolt will be once it's completely tight. Now this bolt serves not only as an anti-wobble, but on the opposite end of the, of the bolt head is a lockdown point to provide a very effective theft deterrent. So once we have this tight, I'll go ahead and lock it to the receiver hitch, which will provide that theft deterrent and make it very difficult for someone to come to take the rack off without a key. So now you can see with that fully tightened, there's no play whatsoever side to side between the stinger and the receiver. Okay, so now let's lock it on. And to do that, we have the 
locking hitch lock here. And I'll just attach that to the end of the hitch pin hole and then turn the key. And now that's locked on. So that way if someone attempts to unbolt it from the receiver, that lock will, will prevent them from doing anything but loosening it. Okay, and as we move up, we have another lock mechanism. So the purpose of this one is because technically you do have a theft concern here if someone were to loosen this bolt and remove the entire platform from the base. So Rocky Mount thoughtfully included this bolt, this locking hitch bolt here to provide a theft deterrent in case someone were to see that vulnerability there. Now also we'll show after we load the bikes is this is also a lockdown for an included cable that will provide security of locking the bike to the rack itself. Okay, so now as we move up, we can also show with the rack in this position that you have these fasteners here on each tray that allow for up to three inches of side to side movement for each tray. Here we have it set in a neutral position but if you had any interference between the bicycles when the bicycles are loaded, you could offset these in order to minimize or completely eliminate that contact. Okay, so here now you can get a better view of this release handle. All I have to do is lift and then let go. And then as I pull down, that'll automatically snap into that carrying position. And let's go ahead and load up that first bike. First, we'll just bring this arm up and over and then open up your cradle. And then here we have our pivoting rear wheel tray. So the benefit of a pivoting tray is that they can make this tube shorter, yet you still have a wide range of wheelbase accommodation. All the way up to a 50 inch long wheelbase can, can be supported on this rack. Also, while we're looking at this cradle, you have a wide supportive cradle all the way up to a five inch wide mountain bike, fat bike tire, and then you have the stability of this narrow insert for a road bike tire. And speaking of mountain bike, of fat bikes, you can extend this strap with the auxiliary strap to extend the overall length of, of that ratchet strap to accommodate all the way up to that five inch wide fat tire that you may want to carry. But in this situation, this length strap is enough to accommodate the, the bikes. Okay, so let's go ahead and load up this first bike and let me flip the direction around. Now, when you're loading up the bike, uh, because you have a high height to lift, go ahead and bend down and grab the lowest stable point. That way, when you stand up, the bike is mostly there and you don't have to lift with your arms as much to get it into place. Now here I'm gonna change that rear wheel cradle and show you how it automatically pivots to accommodate the wheelbase without even having to touch that. So a very nice design feature on this rack. Okay, so here we have this very tall backstop that's, that's providing very good support side to side and back. Now we're gonna go ahead and lift the arm up and over this 29 inch size tire so it can accommodate all the way down to a 20 inch wheel and then all the way up to a 29 inch wheel. So here at this point you want to give it a very good firm click. This is doing the majority of the stabilizing on this rack so make sure that's very tight against the tire and you do want this hook as close as you can get it to the first point of contact without actually making contact. So there is a, what I would call a sweet spot for that particular connection. Now as we move to the back here, I'll just uh, find two parallel spokes right there and then bring that rear wheel strap through, through the buckle, and then that's going to be stable for you there. Now let's do the same thing quickly for the road bike. Get it all prepared. Grab this road bike, lift and load, get the Ratchet, same thing, get it very, put your weight into it to get it really good and secure, to press it against that backstop. And then again in the back, I've found a 
good spot to put it through and ratchet that down. This pivoting tray has that narrow section to keep that, that narrower tire nicely secured. Now, at this stage, we can show how you have access to the back of the vehicle by another feature, which is pulling that blue handle and then guiding the rack down into this angled position, even with the bikes on. And now I can, on this vehicle and most other vehicles, open up the rear hatch. Just keep an eye on the first point of contact. Might hit the handlebars. Nope, clears everything. So, and this is a fairly common distance from the back of the vehicle. The hitch is flush with the bumper, and that's a, a pretty common position of most, of most bumpers on most vehicles. If your bumper is more inset, then you'll want to do a test fit and take more precautions with that initial opening and closing. Okay, so next I want to show the cable that's included. This is a nine millimeter braided steel cable that'll provide a very effective theft deterrent for the bicycles. So the way it works is you can run this, this lockdown end through the bicycle frames. If you have more length, you can use more length to go around perhaps the, uh, a wheel or two as well. But you take that, that metal end and go through the loop end, if you see what I'm doing here. Okay, so here you can see what I just did. I just brought the metal end through the loop end. And then, as we discussed earlier, there's that lockdown point that's on that forward-facing bolt. So let's go ahead and lock that in, as you see. And now you have a very secure lockdown point that locks the bicycles onto the carrier. Now, if you have uh, anything fragile where on a long road trip, this protective coating could eventually wear through paint. Uh, be sure to provide extra foam or padding to make sure you protect your bike. This is great for local, local trips, but on an especially long trip where this may be vibrating, just give a little added precaution to your frame and components just to make sure that, that you are extra protective to that. Okay, so those are all the key features of the Rocky Mounts monorail, this product, and the full line of Rocky Mount products are available at RackAttack.com. Please see the link in the video description for all your buying options. And if you have any questions or comments on this particular carrier, feel free to leave those in the comments section below. And consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We have over 2,000 rack-related videos, and we upload new videos weekly. That's all for this one, and thanks for watching.